Today, I would like to show you how to use your phone as a webcam and connect it specifically through a USB cable. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing fine because today I'll be showing you a trick that is recommended by a comment in my previous YouTube video. So in my last few videos, I've been doing about how to connect your phone as a webcam but through Wi-Fi. I didn't find a way to do it using a USB until today. So if you want to know your, how to use your phone as a webcam through Wi-Fi, you can watch my previous videos. But today, I will spe be specifically teaching you how to connect it through USB. And this also relies with an app. So the benefits of connecting your phone to a USB and comes a webcam is that it has a better and stable connection there rather than using a Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi depends a lot on your Wi-Fi speed and if you have a bad Wi-Fi, you might want to use a USB cable instead. So to be honest, this will be a little bit more technical than using the Wi-Fi but if you follow me step by step, you can also do it. I would like to also address a few matters that I didn't explain in my previous videos especially regarding the audio so make sure to watch throughout this video because I'll be giving some tricks and some debugging information throughout the whole video what you want to do the very first thing is go to your Play Store or App Store for iPhone because it is both able to work through a Mac, laptop, Windows, iPhone, Android, anything so go to your app store, play store and search for IV Cam, and then download the app, the blue icon app. If you find this video valuable, make sure to take 0.05 seconds of your time to hit the like button down there so that you can share and help others as well. So let's get started. Then go to your laptop to download the IV Cam desktop app. Go to e2soft.com slash ivcam to download it. All links will be in the description. After downloading it, you can see an IV cam on your desktop. Sorry for my weird wallpaper. After that, go to your Android app, IV cam and open it up as well as the desktop app. And we will quickly try the Wi-Fi connection, whether it connects. As you can see, it is now successfully connected. So when, at first you will see and hear a lot of echo sound, which is really annoying. So quickly go come here to the settings and play audio to none so just turn off the audio because it's really annoying the audio comes from your mobile phone to your laptop which I will be explaining later so right now as you can see it works with the Wi-Fi connection without the USB if it doesn't work it's alright because we are going to be specifically teaching for USB only and Right now, I will be switching off my Wi-Fi for my phone to prove that it works for the USB as well. So I've switched off the Wi-Fi and it's already disconnected here. So from here on, make sure to listen carefully to what I said, alright? So you take your USB cable and then connect it. This is a very special um, dual cable for iPhone as well as Android. Alright, so after connecting, it won't appear immediately as you can see. So right now when you put your USB cable into your phone, and if your phone is able to recognize, meaning you can assess your files in your computer, that means it you recognizes your phone, Go to your settings and go to and search for about phone. As you can see, this is about phone. So click on it and find something like the build version. As you can see, tap seven times to enter developer mode. You want to enable the USB debugging, so we need this developer on. So tap seven times. As you can see, we are now in developer mode. So after you tap 7 times and turn on the developer mode, 
Right now, I'm going to find developer options to enable USB debugging. So you need to go through your settings and find developer options. Sometimes it, it will be in these additional settings. So search for developer options. As you can see, this is the developer options. Click on it and search for USB debugging. There you see, USB debugging. Turn it on. Turn it on. Click on transfer files. So you will see something like this, allow USB debugging. Click on OK. As you can see just now, we hit the problem of because an app is obscuring this permission. So it, it, it has an error and I can't connect it the USB yet. So what you're going to do is go back, go to apps management or and then switch off the floating windows. So every phone and every device is different for where it is located. So for mine, mine is in security. So go to securities. Floating windows is something like floating windows. Go to floating windows and then switch off everything. Switch off everything. Same to as this protective ball. I need to switch off this ball so that it will work for the USB debugging. So go and switch off everything, especially the floating windows one. That's um, very important. Some of you guys might be in app management. Some of you guys might be located somewhere else. You just need to find and switch off all the floating managements. So after that, go back to your developer options and go back to your USB debugging, switch it off, turn it on again. So you must see this and then click on OK. And it's all set. So let's go back to IV Cam and it should be able to work right now. Yes, as you can see, it works with the USB without the Wi Fi. So, as you can see, the Wi Fi is closed. Also, switch to the rear camera if you want to. So, right now, as you can see, it is connected to my front facing camera. Right. So after it successfully connects, um, just minimize this uh, IV cam and go to your Zoom. Create a new meeting. And at first you will see something like and your internal webcam or other sources. So just simply go to the button beside the stop video and then go to your different sources. Right now I will be using IV cam, so go to IV cam. And it should connect to your camera via USB. So you can use as a webcam. So you see, it's much clearer. So right now, I would like to address some issues or questions regarding audio. So this will be using your computer's audio by default and not your phone's microphone. So I repeat that it will use your laptop's or computer's microphone if it has one. It will not use your phone as a microphone. So if you can come here, you can also go to your microphone sources. And as you can see, we have all this microphone and we do not have like a virtual microphone for this app. We can use our phone as a microphone as well, but it's going to be in another video and in another um, software called Virtual Cut. It's also in the same company, but it's different um, software that I need to download. So if you guys would like to learn how to use your mobile phone as a microphone next time, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It will also mean the world for me. And if you find this valuable, uh, also hit the like button to share it with more people and more people will see it and help someone as well.
if you have any problems, questions, um, debug um, information that you want to share, you can also comment down below or feel free to DM me on Instagram with your screenshot of the problem so that I can better understand and do my best to help you as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again.